Okay, and welcome by this second part of the third part. We're gonna create uh, the engine for the rocket. It's actually pretty simple. All we have to do is create two more materials, but those are already preset. We go to shader and then pyro cluster, and we're going file shader. Pyrocluster Volume Tracer. Well, let me explain something about Pyrocluster. It needs an environment to actually work, and for that, it needs the Pyrocluster Volume Tracer. So, what we're gonna do at first, we're gonna go and make us an environment. So, here is our environment, and we're gonna add the Pyrocluster Volume Tracer to that. Power cluster only works with particles, and Simul 4D has a particle system. We're gonna use that in a couple of seconds. But first, we're gonna change the smoke material. So just double click a power cluster, the, the the smoky power cluster, and change that into the settings here as globals to fire. Hit yes, and close it up. Now we're gonna add the emitter or particle system to our project. Just click on this little square there with uh, all the balls. Just click on it and we're going to scrub through to see where the particles are coming out. As you can see all those little dots as you can see here are the particles but they're going right now in the right way and we want to go in the down way so we need to rotate this 90 degrees right there and let's scale it up so or scale it down actually so we're going to scale it down just like a small a small emitter and we're going to put it in the center like that okay that's pretty nice uh, it's still in the center of our sphere here, so we're gonna drag it down, and it needs to be right there at the bottom of our rocket. It's still in our rocket, if I can see that correctly, so we're gonna move it down to there. Ready then. Now, the only thing that we have to do is change a little bit of the properties of the emitter. So we're gonna change the birth rate editor to about 50 and the birth renderer, renderer to uh, 50 as well and then we change the speed to about 350. Now we're almost good to go. The only thing that we need to do is add the power cluster material to the emitter. Now let's check it out. Scrub through the timeline and just choose a nice angle for the rocket. Something like, I don't know, this or something and hit Ctrl R to render it out. Only negative part about Power Cluster is that it takes really long to render. But it looks pretty okay to me. So I'll come back to you when done then. And there we go. So here we have our project and our prior cluster added to the missile. Now the only thing that we need to do is just group things up. So these are the wings and all, all, uh, all of that together, all G, is the missile. Now the only thing that we have to do is save this project. I already saved it, so I hit Ctrl S and it's safe. Okay, that's uh, that was it for this part. Please click on the center of the video to go to the fourth part. In that part, we're probably going to add some deflectors uh, due to the materials. We're going to merge everything together, and in the sixth part, uh, sorry, in the fifth part we're gonna animate the whole scene. 
So thanks for watching this part. Please click center to go to the next part. Bye.